You was walking around this party like you don't know what happens when the sun goes down and the moon comes up. The blunts go round, everybody getting drunk all night. You know we put it down, put it down all night. Hey, we go fuck around, fuck around. What's all night. good, YouTube? Devil 92, you're back again once again. Tonight, people, today we're for episode number three of our Pokemon Sun and the Moon Let's Play. And I, the, the hype is still not worn off. I need to get another cup of coffee because I'm, I'm sure you can tell I'm I'm slowing down. But the hype is still here. And if you guys are hyped as well to continue with this brand new Pokemon game. And of course, we are proud member of the Happy Nation. Make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, you already know, can't nobody let's play a game like the motherfucking Happy Nation let's play a game. But we only have one Pokemon on the squad as of right now. That is our starter, our child, Frankie, the popular Pop Leo. He's so special to us. Nice and brave nature, pound, water gun, growl, and disarming voice with torrent of course now we were just introduced to the pokemon center in the last episode and we got our rotom decks too but i want to figure out what the hell is up with this cafe welcome to the pokemon center cafe the time in Alola is now 21 o'clock here in our cafe space we provide a moment of peace to customers what can i get started for your day oh what is pineapple juice oh pineapple juice oh i get it are you an aide oh, oh okay any Pokemon? Alright. And what about you? What, what are we selling at the Pokemon Mart here? We need to scoop up a few items. Bro, we, we have $35,000? Yo, mom gave us some serious traveling money. Some serious spending money. When we left the house? Bro, we can buy 99 Pokeballs right now. <laughs> mom gave us some serious fucking guap. My god. Yo, I'm gonna buy 19 of them. Let's get some goddamn potions. Oh, we got Premier Balls. I forgot about that. Oh, I should've just bought two sets of 10. Stupid. Stupid, nappy, stupid, 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 nappy, stupid. <sighs> Wait, how many do we have in the bag right now? It doesn't tell us? Oh, it's at the top. Duh! I was like, I can't see how many potions we have. Okay, so that'll put us at 20 potions. Let's scoop up a few, uh, let's scoop up a couple antidotes. Let's get four of these. Because you guys already know, even though even though this is not a Nuzlocke, you still, you gotta take care of your Pokemon, okay? You gotta take care of your Pokemon. Get some medication so that when you're out on the field, you know, you, you got what you need in your bag to take care of yourself. We have so much money. I've never had this much money at the start of the game before. Never. Never in a hundred thousand. No, we're not buying all those. Wait, 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 wait. I wasn't done just yet, dickhead. Hold on. Let me get a. Let me just get two of these. And you best believe we scooping up some repels. We can buy 62 of them, bitches. Let's scoop up uh, 20 repels for right now. And we didn't get any burn or ice seals just because, like, at this point in the game, you shouldn't be getting burned or, or frozen. You know, you don't really need. You don't really need it per se. You know what I mean? 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 Because I think sometimes people like question, like, how come you never buy those nappies? Because you shouldn't actually need them that yet in the game. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. Here we are. You see, the trainer school is, uh, it's a, uh, uh, what in the world? Hello? Random ass Toros. What the? Well, it looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon, thanks to Toros there. But we're only planning to go as far as the trainer school anyway. We'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. Come follow me. That's the logic that you want to employ right there. So is the trainer school where the trainers go to learn or do trainer? Fuck, I can never read what he says. He talks so fucking fast. Stupid ass wrote him. I don't notice that he's speaking. That's the problem. How did Kakui beat us here? How? How did he beat us here? Hey there, Nappy. I must have passed you two somehow. Yeah? But welcome to the trainer school, the place to learn how to become a Pokemon trainer. Bro, it's an actual school. Professor Kakui, is this the child you told me about? Yeah, put him through the ringer, teach. Four trainers! You've got to beat four Pokemon trainers here at the school, Nappy. The experience will surely help you and your Pokemon grow stronger, yeah. Actually, speaking of experience, why don't you take this? You damn skippy, we turned that shit on. You got that before the first the first island trial you got the experience here. That's wild. 
If you keep that experience share on, yeah, all the Pokemon on your team can get experience points from battle. The trainers who take part in this lesson may be inside or outside the school. You may also want to visit our classrooms to be sure you learn a lot. Alright, let the lesson begin. 20 bucks could Kui pull out her too. She may not look all that tough, but she can sure take dick. But that teach trains her kids right. One of her students is even a captain. If you want a bit of advice from me, here's something that might help. Once you've fought a species of Pokemon once, you can easily see what types of moves will work best on it in your next battle. Wandering about in tall grass to meet lots of different Pokemon will help with that. But battle all the time, oh yeah. That's kind of cool, I like how they did that, how it's not just automatic. Like there's still some sort of prerequisite for it showing up in your on your bottom screen like that. Let's learn and grow, let's grow and train. Unsullied, enjoyable, and academic. Everyone starts at the beginning. Oh, these damn cars. Ooh, what's this? Fucking potion. So we have to battle four four kids, four four fucking victims. What's up? You trying to make out? I've been waiting here for you because the teacher told me to. If you beat my Pokemon, I'll give you a simple but very important lesson. Oh. Like she about to suck us off back here behind the school. Bro! Youth athlete at athlete. Youth athlete aroma. You athlete, yo, I'm taking on a you athlete. Athlete Hiromi sent out a picky pack. I still want to point out like how Lily was just like, let's let someone else handle that Tauros. Like just completely abandon any kind of responsibility. What will Frankie do? Frankie, use water gun attack. Piggy Peck outspeeds and goes for growl because of our brave nature. Uh -huh. Or probably just because it's a goddamn piggy peck and outspeeds us. But I do want to stuffle on the squad. That one, that's one thing I did notice that I, I wanted earlier. So we have Poplio, we have Frankly, and Frankly, Frankie, and we have Stuffle that we need to scoop up as well. I don't know who else we're gonna be adding to the squad though. I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Hey. Hey. Oh, that game is game is oh, whatever. You're, you're not you're not a main character. I don't care. Do not care what you have to say Squeeze me if you use items or moves to boost your team stats You can increase how much damage you deal put your Pokemon deal and less than how much they take if you ever want to become a Pokemon champion They are literally Walking you through everything that is Pokemon with this All of this like mandatory tutorial shit Like I feel like we're still in the tutorial to this point. We're three episodes in we had an hour-long episode because I'm the strongest, that's why. I won't even bother battling you unless you can beat everyone else here. Mega! Potion. Uh -huh. But yeah, I'm, like, I'm, I'm ready to, like, let me go. You don't need to hold my hand for this long. Open this here gate, my dude. You wanna battle? I'll teach you the tactics I learned here at school by beating you with them. I hear a Pokemon cry in that grass there, but I don't know what it is. Is there a new Pokemon? This youngster- Oh, it's Youngster Joey! If he does not have an Alone Rattata. Youngster Jimmy had an Alone Rattata. But Youngster Joey doesn't. That's wild. I don't know what to say about that. That's wild. That's absolutely wild and unacceptable. Sun and Moon, worst games, hands down. Hands fucking down. Yo, I love the different battle background. I, I so wish they'd take it to Wi-Fi. I know it's not just me. Everyone wishes that. But, like, look, we're literally battling in the school ground because we're at the school. That's fucking dope. You see the actual background around you, and it's not just, like, some static background the entire time, you know? I'm a sucker. What can I say? What can I say? I like aesthetic changes in games. I don't know why. It's just, it's just it's attention to detail that I love. Poisoning an opponent will slowly drain its HP. Paralyzing them can prevent its attacks. Pokemon moves can have all kinds of effects, so watch out for them. What Pokemon are in this grass, though, my dude? I hear a wild Pokemon. Got another antidote. What else do we have? What the hell? What the hell? That is another Pokemon cry that I heard. And I am not interested in battling you, my dude. Not at all. You are super effective. We need something to handle our electric weakness. That's why I was thinking, like, Grubbin and Vicky Volt would be nice to have, too. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let's see what else they have. In a grass here. That isn't a goddamn Magnemite. 
Oh, we get his Magnemite! Alright, I don't know when the hell we're gonna get more Pokemon on our squad. Cause like, the only new Pokemon we've seen so far- I couldn't get away. Magnemite, why are you bullying me? We are literally being bullied in the schoolyard. Literally being bullied in the schoolyard right now. But, uh... What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the only new Pokemon we've seen so far is Piggy Pack and the Re Alolan Rattata. <laughs> this is why we bought Repels, though, to be fair. To be fair and to be honest, this is why we bought Repels, so... Let me slip and slide the fuck about before we lose any more HP. Okay, so we battled two people outside. Two of the four is done. And apparently they're... We're supposed to go inside into the classrooms, and the fourth person is outside in the basketball court. So where is lucky number three? Where the fuck you at, bitch? Ooh. PP? This is an actual trainer school. My goodness. They have Musharna on the walls. There's a teacher. Bro? She said, I can read. Here, watch. We occasionally ask Professor Kikui to run a special class for our school. He's done a great deal of research into Pokemon movies after all. I just want items. That's all I want. Every game the trainer school gives you an item. She told us to choose to, to search all the goddamn class. Oh my goodness, who are you? Look at your Pokemon. Now look at me. Now back at your Pokemon. Now back at me. Now look at your Pokemon. Now back at me. Whether it has any calls or not, now we would probably get a kick out of this one. Ooh, quick claw. Thank you. That's actually very useful. In Pokemon Battle, is a Pokemon with the highest speed stat to, to act goes first. But with a quick claw, your Pokemon should be able to attack first regardless of its speed. Or sometimes anyway, it's better than nothing. Bro. She gave me that quick claw and I'm gonna come first looking at her. God damn. Where'd the quick claw go? Let's give it to Poplio or to Frankie since Frankie isn't that speedy to begin with. You know what I mean? 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 Why do they make her so bad though? Like, that's not right! Hmm. I can't walk over the pillow. Meh. <laughs> I can't believe it actually says meh. You look like someone to battle. This takes us out the front door. Okay, so I think that's the last trainer in that corner right there. But I want to go upstairs too. Oh shit! Boy, you're awful close. Stand so close that I want to battle you. Is that what you want? <laughs> I'll show you how I fight. Oh, oh. <coughs> Excuse me. She said, boy, you close. Mmm, boy. There was one locker in that corner, too. Whose locker is that in the corner by themselves? Who is it? <gasps> it's Brock! Brock! Brock, my boy. I'm sorry to do this to you. I'm very, very sorry to do this to you, my dude. I'm very sorry to do this to you, my dude. But you gotta catch this dick. You got to. You got to. Bro. So that's three battles that we had so far. And we've only been injured in, what, one of them? I don't know. Baby doll eyes, you are not an Eevee. Keep old moves. I'm not trying to evolve you into a Sylvie. Oh. We do need to get uh, a new mod on the squad, though. I keep talking about it. I keep talking about it, but I do want to get a new mod on the squad. Your style of battle is pretty great, you know? Thanks. Yeah, whose one locker is this? Who's over here in the corner by themselves? <laughs> you can't sit with us. You can't sit with us. Ooh, what's happening? The trainers would take part in this lesson, maybe inside or outside the school. And we also want to visit our classrooms to sure learn a lot. Or you could just let me... Why can't I go upstairs? There's three storage. What are you keeping on the third floor? This is like some Harry Potter shit. We're not allowed to go to the third floor. Why is that? You have the Sorcerer's Stone up there? Oh, is this the computer lab? Bro. Slowpoke's John is a move that can put your opponent to sleep in battle. When a Pokemon is asleep, it can't do anything until it wakes up. Okay. Slowpoke, you got a Slowpokium Z for me, my dude? Like <laughs> how they have little beds for the Pokemon. Again, it's the attention to detail. I just love it. I just love it. Knock, knock, nigga. Somebody give me a rare candy or something. Ability. Oh, so abilities are advanced. That's why there's this is the, the like, uh, high schoolers. This is the AP club. Because there's only four of them in here. You see this big-ass room? You could fit more people in here. 
Nigga gave me a potion. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I went all the way to Kala Island to find a lily pup and catch just to have this ability. You overachiever, you. I hope he gave you extra credit for that shit. Limber, they are passive abilities, my guy. Let me slide up out of here and leave you nerds behind. You fucking nerds. I think, yeah, there's just one more. Let's go down to that basketball court and teach that nigga a lesson. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? What are you gonna do, Nappy? I'm going to actually heal. Because why not? This nigga's supposed to be super duper strong and tough. We got potions out the fucking wazoo. So you might as well get prepared to whoop some ass. Whack some ass, my dude. Come, come. Bring that cocky basketball attitude on over here. Put you in your place, my dude. Go all mob psycho on your ass right here, right now. You wanna know why would I be the strongest? Because it's cool to be strong, duh. This nigga got his own camera angle. Cutscene and all. Rising Star Joseph. <sighs> Joseph. He's got a Grimer. <gasps> it's an Alolan Grimer! My dude. Oh, he's gonna eat up all of our hits. He's gonna eat everything. Everything. Uh. I feel like Pound will do more than anything. <laughs> Bite? Holy shit. Can we get our fairy typing? Oh my god. Wait, he's poison dark, isn't he? That means the starting voice would be neutral. Let's see how much water gun does in comparison to Pound. Bro! I always thought Grimer and Muck were like specially defensive. I guess this one is not specially defensive. So will this water gun kill? Survey says! Get this pile of sludge out of my motherfucking face. I want to see an Alolan Muck though. Or just Muck. I, I have to get so used to saying that. It's extremely frustrating, but you're stronger than me. This thing gave us $384. That's wild. That's wild. And now that wasn't cool at all. Maybe I should aim for being pretty instead. What? But fine, whatever. I can't admit it when I'm beat. I'll give you a reward even. Take this technical machine. Work up. Those horns. Your boy is moving up in the world. Okay, first thing to know about TMs. Technical machines teach new techniques. They'll give your Pokemon a new move and a flash. But if your Pokemon can't learn the move in a TM, then too bad. You're up a creek, pal. Second thing to know about TMs. You can use TM as many times as you want. Or on we know. Move on. Oh, that's the school bell. Oh, yeah? Attention all students! Would Nappy please come to the office on second floor? Nappy to the second floor office, please. What terrible thing did you do to get called to the office so soon? Nothing, nigga. That's what you say. You don't believe me? You don't trust me, Lily? Naughty boy, it's off to the second floor with you. <laughs> I wrote him. It's a cheeky Rotom. It's a cheeky, cheeky Rotom. I'm ready to handle this Tauros, goddammit. Nappy, I can't believe that you beat all of my students. Fantastic. After seeing such a performance, I think I'd like to battle you myself. What do you say? You ready to take me on? Uh, no. You must be joking. You don't know how much experience you can gain from battling me, right? No, I'd, I, I want to take you on. It's just my fucking Poplio's bodied right now. You didn't even give me a chance to heal. You want to fucking battle? You want to beat up on a brand new student? What's wrong with you? This school is fucking bullies. Nothing but bullies. Let's go. Come on. If I win, you gotta let me get up in the walls. As a teacher, I've got to see for myself what you did to beat my force for my students. Come on, lady. Yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Teacher Emily. Ooh, Emily. Got your boy rubbing his nipple. <laughs> Come on, Emily. Let's do it. Oh, she has a Magnemite. We can't win. <sighs> All right. Yo, use Slash Cannon, my dude. I'm going to water gun the absolute life out of this thing. It outspeeds us, too! Okay, at least I think... Let me double check the damage here in a second. I did 14 points of damage, so we should be able to live another one. 
and the quick clock comes through. Get a crit, get a crit, get a crit, get a crit, get a crit. Stop thunder shocking me, you fucking ass. Okay, so we're gonna have to. I mean, we could. No, no, no! Oh! The quick clock came through! Oh my goodness! I want you to know, I was literally in my head, I was thinking, so we have to heal this turn, take the hit, heal next turn, take the hit, and then we'll have enough HP left to live a third hit and kill it. And as I was thinking that, for whatever reason, my hand did all the motions to attack. If that quick claw hadn't popped just now, this pop Leo would have got fucking popped. Everything be popping left to right, motherfucker. Alright, let's go ahead. Frankie is here. We're still in action. That's gonna hurt like a bitch. We should be able to live another one. You know we go out speed. Persian is the fastest mod in Gem 1, so you know we got that speed. This is why you bought these damn potions. Right here. Right here, my dude. Right here. And I know I've mentioned it a hundred thousand times, but if anything, this is the exact same. This is another reason why we gotta get another mod on the squad. Right here. Because Frankie, he can put in work, but it's. Oh no, I water gun. What the fuck? It's a dark type. Don't flinch me. God! I just want to attack. Can I please be allowed to attack? Quit flinching me with bite. Oko. Frankie! Use the sorry voice! Bro. Bro? Okay, I don't think another bite will kill, but just to be safe, and just so we don't have to fight the goddamn Magnemite again, we got potions out the wazoo. Out the, out the, out the, out the, out the, out the wazoo. Out the, out the, out the, out the, out the, out the wazoo. Alright, Meowth, you're out of here. You and your, your posh attitude. Look at that Quick Claw popping three times in a battle. I love that animation for Quick Claw, too. How bright and vibrant it is. Again, it's the little things. It's the little things that make a game for me. It's the, literally the little things that make a game for me. Alright. Now that Meowth is out of the way. Frankie's level 12. We desperately need to get in the modern squad. Stop being so damn picky. Bro, come here, Emily. Let me give you a hug. Let me give you a hug, girl. Nice! Maybe you'd like to take over as teacher here for me. All joking aside though, I do want you to take these from me. It's a little reward for beating my ass. Five great balls. I'll take it. Uh -huh. They're great balls. Great balls are better at catching Pokemon than normal Pokeballs. Oh shit. <laughs> Guys, Sensei. K Kakashi. Know your Pokemon and know their moves. These are basic basics of being a trainer. How about it? Who is this? Greetings, Captain Elima here. I couldn't help but observe your battles. <laughs> you look so very delighted in battle that I had no choice but to summon you here. <laughs> this is Nappy, who moved here from to Alola from the Kanto region. He's got a real sense of how to use moves, and I think he's gonna go far as a trainer, yeah. Oh, I see. Then welcome, newcomer. <laughs> I look forward to seeing the brilliance of your moves in my trial. <laughs> Indeed, we captains are the ones who conduct the trials you will face on your way to challenging the island Kuna. <laughs> my hard trial is held in Verdant Cavern, the trial of Captain Elima. <laughs> You can find Pokemon living everywhere, even in the patches of tall grass in Haoli City. <laughs> Perhaps you'll want to fill out your team a bit before attempting my trial. <laughs> you right? I sincerely look forward to your challenge. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh wait, no, wrong person. <laughs> I reported to the folks upstairs about that Tauros blocking the road out front again. The guys, Tauros is pretty much a celebrity here on Melee Mele, you know. Well, I guess it's time that we dismiss you from school, Nappy. Attention all students! Nappy has completed his lesson at the trainer's school. Fucking hot damn, let the world know. We graduate, nigga, we out this bitch. Be good to your Pokemon, and try to follow through these, those status conditions too. Good luck with your island challenge. I hope you get close to a lot of new people. 
Nappy, enjoy your island challenge and be sure to use the skills you learned here at the trainer school. Good luck, future champion. Make sure you use that TM. <laughs> Can all of you show him what you're made of, Nappy? You seem to be in perfect sync with your pop, Leo, weren't you? Ah, oh, since we've come this far together, why don't I show you some more of the city? Come on, there's lots to see. Bro? Bro? How much more can there be? Let's be real. Nappy, over here! But there's a Tauros! It's blocking the path! You know, I was really impressed seeing how you battled with your Pokemon at the trainer school. And even back when you weren't a Pokemon trainer, Nappy, you were able to save Nebby. You were chosen by your Pokemon so quickly, I understand why now. Oh, I forgot about Tauros! Alright, you about to get that ass waxed. Oh shit. <laughs> Look at this nigga. I'm so damn happy. Who, oh, if it isn't Lily and the Nappy? Sorry for scaring you, friend. I guess it's time I get old Toros back home. Oh, but why don't you give him a little bat first, Nappy? Let me pat that ass, boy. He wants you to pet that big old Toros. If I had a pulse, I'd be racing right now. Oh shit. Calm yourself, bro. Calm yourself. <laughs> you see that? This rascal already loves you. Pokemon become happier when we show them some care. I'll show you some care. Take that Tauros home. Get it out the fucking room. <laughs> Hold the place as your goal, child. As you do, you will surely meet more Pokemon and people who will enrich your life. The Kahunas are something, eh? Able to come a raging Pokemon without even needing to battle. Now that's something. I mean, I like Tauros plenty and all, but it's pretty scary. I don't want to ride it. So where are you two off to now? I was thinking I should show Navi around Haoli City a bit. Nice idea! You're always on top of things, Lily. Nappy just got to a Lola, huh? Then let me tag along too! I wanna get something good to eat! Alright, let's all go together! Then what are we waiting for? This way, come on! <laughs> Can we walk together, please? You took five steps and turned and waved. Oh, how? I guess we should catch up with him before he gets too far, Nappy. How only city is the biggest city in all of Alola? Really? Because the city was in the demo and it wasn't that big. Well, then again, it's a demo. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a nice stroll around Haoli, especially the beach. But before we do that, I want to head back and heal because we took on a lot of rigorous battling just now. I think now is a good enough spot as any to go wrap up today's episode. I kind of like how, like, the trainer school, it reminds me of, like, uh, you remember Pokestar Studios from Black and White? Even though Pokestar, Pokestar Studios was kind of useless. Uh, but still, like, I like this. Because it's like a side quest in the game. And that's one thing that a lot of people were talking about. How it's, they were going to focus more so on RPG elements and aspects in this game. I actually really, really do like that. So, I'm enjoying uh, our Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Plays so far. And if you guys are as well. And of course, if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation. Make sure you smash the like button down below for us. Because you already know your support is going to appreciate it. Because you already know as well. Can't nobody let's play a game like the motherfucking Nappy Nation can. Thank you all so much for your support. And thank you for checking the video. But we out this bitch. Bye.